Dixie D'Amelio. Did you hear that Pokimane made an apology? That's right. Pokimane made an apology. But what? What for? Was it for taking down other people's videos? Maybe it was for getting people's sponsors taken away. It has to be for saying the n-word. Well, if you guessed all of the above, you'd be right. Pokimane made a video called My Overdue Apology, and it's number 8 on trending. Do people just automatically get on trending when they make apology videos or breakup videos? Right now the video has 2.2 million views and she breaks it up into four different parts. Video takedowns, it's a Gundam, and I talked about this before because that's the guy that lost his sponsorships because Pokimane made a critical stream about him. Inappropriate language, and then final thoughts. The final thoughts are her talking about her appearance. I don't even know why she added it. I've seen a lot of people talk about the way that I look recently. Just wanna put it out there. I don't think I'm the prettiest person in the world, but I think that's okay. Everyone's entitled to an opinion. Two out of ten. If you guys don't know, Pokimane went on a break recently. She put out this statement saying, The quarantine began. It's been hard for me to find the same joys and motivations for making content. The things I look forward to the most, like visiting my family, traveling, going to conventions, and meeting some of you guys, are possible right now. And she basically ends by saying, I want to be happy and excited to make content. And I'm looking forward to getting back into that headspace. Until then, I hope you can use this message as a reminder to take care of yourselves. What I took from this was that she was going on a break because she was getting so much hate online. People like Leafy were making dozens of videos about her, not to mention most of the commentary community were doing the exact same thing. So then two weeks later, she comes out with my overdue apology. And she's apologizing for things that she's been she did five years ago, last year, and she even says herself lots of different opinions on whether or not I needed to make this or if it feeds into the drama. In my opinion, it's important to acknowledge if I've hurt others, along with providing an apology and proper information regarding these instances. Hmm. Well, she did apologize to me personally, being a man of color, and she did use the n-word. From the past, where I've said the n-word, I believe the tweet is from about five years ago, and the clip from about seven years ago, and although I never said it with ill intent or racial context or the hard R, I still want to make it clear that I don't condone the use of that language. I just want to make it clear that I am genuinely so sorry if I hurt or offended anyone with what I said. I <laughs> really wish I could go back in time and change the past. Unfortunately, I can't, but I do hope that my behavior in regards to language for the last couple of years and onwards. Thank you, Pokimate. Thank you for the apology for saying the N word. This is a 15 minute video. Here, you know what? I'm gonna show you the reaction that I had when I first watched it for the first time with my friend. See what happened with Pokimane? What happened to Pokimane? Oh, she made an apology video. Oh, no, she said. didn't? Queen. Yeah, she did. Queen Pokey? Yeah, Queen Pokey's back and she apologized. <laughs> she did. <laughs> Four hours ago. The only reason she's apologizing is because she got called out for it. Wow, she's got a lot of dislikes. 19,000? Oh, 65,000 uh -huh. simps right there. 65,000 simps and 19,000 chads are like, no, fam. <laughs> this video is to address recent comments and criticisms that I've revealed. Yo, Pokey, speak up. Can I turn this volume up a bit? I had to turn on my stream. So Yo, loud. what the frick? Speak up. We're a lavalier mic. This is the first ASMR apology I've seen. Oh, <laughs> Why does she talk so softly like she's apologizing to her parents? That's what we're saying. Why is she not talking up? Why does every YouTube apology have to have the worst quality everything? Yeah, I think YouTube apologies, they, but uh, I think they always need to have like a little bit of raw quality so you know that it's unedited it's raw there's usually no ads on it because they don't want to be monetizing their pain did she um pause and breathe at the beginning hi everyone no she didn't freak oh well okay oh okay she's doing good so far yeah she, uh, usually it's the <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah or the prior <laughs> 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 to acknowledging or addressing or apologizing for these things okay. not only that but i mm -hmm. should have properly apologized when the incidents actually occurred yeah it she's reading where is she looking she keeps she's reading something this is so insincere look at the eyes you know look. someone said in the, the comments people are gonna talk about her body language this is the logan paul apology i made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment and i don't expect to be forgiven that was the logan paul apology i've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment and I don't expect to be forgiven. It shouldn't have taken me this long to come to a proper understanding of how to handle these situations. 
and how to apologize for that. Yeah. But I hope that I can do that today. So I have a list of topics. I'm topics? Like, oh, Pokimane. Did you know she edited it? Usually it's raw. She edited it. Look at that. Yeah, fast there, was, cut. there was a jump cut there. Ah, this is monetized. This is definitely monetized. Dislike. <laughs> Dislike. <laughs> <laughs> we can see what she has. She has video takedowns. Okay. And then she has censorship. That I want to hear about. I want to hear about the video takedowns the most. Firstly, there was an incident back at the end of 2018, where me and Keemstar had an argument over Twitter, and a YouTuber by the name of Boblox took screenshots week. of these tweets <laughs> and then uploaded them. So no, this is a year ago. So Boblax, his entire channel basically is like he finds drama and he'll find the Twitter beef and he'll talk about the Twitter beef back and forth and put it in like a timeline basically. So like these are his videos on the right. Twitter versus Alinity, Twitter versus Mr. Beast, da da da, Twitter versus Amanda Cerny. And he'll go through the history of what happened during that drama. So there was drama between Pokimane and Keemstar. And then he made the video about it obviously putting the, all the tweets up and she got his video taken down and then she bragged uh, about getting his video taken down as well in a pod in a podcast uh, these weird videos which i would sometimes take down spoken to my mcn and i was like is this something that i can take down because like i was getting a like a lot of annoying uh shit from it at the time why do i know this like i have better things to do than know about pokemon drama <laughs> like what the frick i could be chugging red bulls right now with bryce hall and at the time my mcn told me that because they are screenshots of my tweets that i can have the video taken down and keemstar had deleted his tweets i didn't want the drama to snowball into something more but of course it snowballed anyways because of my actions so I agreed and the video was taken down. This was okay. my mistake because at the time I didn't consider the fairness of leaving that video up as well as not properly understanding the fair use defense. When it was public record. As soon as she put it on Twitter, it's it's in the public. She just doesn't like to be seen in a negative way. That's the problem with Pokemon. Uh... Freaking rat. <laughs> I'm not subscribed to Pokemon. See, I'm not a simp. See? I'm not subscribed to Pokemon. <laughs> Later, Asher's like, oh, my Sim Queen. <laughs> <laughs> resubscribe, resubscribe. Recently, Leafy made, like, I'm not kidding, eight videos about Pokemon. And if I'm being completely honest, Pokemon, 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 Pokemon. Okay, so there's more than I thought. That's insane. You there's not. Yeah, exactly. It's, and ever since Leafy started doing this, everyone started dogpiling in on Pokimane. He's n his content hasn't gotten any better. It's actually gotten worse. It's gotten at, le cancer, at least but... before he had commentary. Now he just clips together other... You know what? I'm not, I'm not even going to talk about it. Let's get back to Pokimane. <laughs> so I just want to reiterate that I'm sorry for taking down that video. And since then, I have not taken down any videos like that. And <laughs> I've genuinely... Congratulations, Pokimane. You haven't taken down any videos. Oh, wow. What an angel. She did it, guys. She's good. She's good. She's good. She's, she's good. a good she's person. Good. She, took, she took down one video, but never again. But she doesn't need to take down videos. Let's continue, okay? Because she's done worse things than take down people's videos. There's another incident that I frequently see people use clips of where I'm talking to someone about having their video removed. Anyways, I'll be taking down some of your videos, but <gasps> yeah, I just hope you stop doing this. <laughs> Is that true? Did they really make a video? See, that that's creepy in my opinion. If yeah, someone did that. this guy had like an entire channel and he used Pokemon as clickbait. It's basically just like, oh, Pokemon thick compilations. And he would use his, her clips. She got him on Discord, talked to him about it, went through his videos, blasted him to like 50,000 people while she, while she was live streaming, leaked his Instagram, made fun of his Instagram while he was on the call. And then she was like, I'm getting your videos taken down. And she did all of this live, and that's why people keep using this clip. Let's see what she has to say about it, because I, I'm very interested. ...my content or my stream, but then adding really inappropriate, sexual, gross, or just misleading just kind of titles. Around that. that point is pretty solid. Can't refute, you refute that, really. The only thing that she did wrong was really kind of dox him by showing his Instagram, and then he obviously got a lot of hate. In hindsight, I can totally understand how if someone was unsure of its legitimacy, 
it could be pretty upsetting to see something like this. Is it just me or is she really robotic? She's talking like she's she rehearsed this earlier and she's trying to remember her lines. It's like an episode of I... Degrassi The Next Generation. <laughs> and I got really caught up in that feeling and I was so bothered and also bothered by people's potential perceptions when seeing this video. And I must admit, I reacted really poorly. This led me to making some comments questioning why the video was sponsored. But regardless of my opinion on the content, <coughs> that's not okay. And I'll do better when sharing my concerns without having to comment on any part of the video that isn't the actual content of the video. This, yeah, that guy lost his sponsors after Pokemon was like, oh, I can't believe this guy has sponsors. Dude, your website's so ass it won't even load. But if you ever reach out to me, if I ever see you in my inbox, on site. Made a whole documentary about it, actually. You should watch it, Peter. I don't know if you have the time. <laughs> and I wouldn't want to see that sort of thing happen to someone else. I also don't want to see that sort of thing become a larger tactic or trend on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So again, I'm very, very sorry. And I'll make sure that in the future, if I am to comment on any part of a video, it's just its actual contents, not the sponsors, and also not to encourage my community or my viewers to leave any sort of negative feedback. Peter, come on. Peter. Did All she... right. Good All for right. her. Good for her. She apologized three months late. I'm not going to lie, she does not sound genuine at all. From what little I know about psychological things to no notice from people's gestures and actions, sh she does not seem genuine at no, all. Ooh, look at this. we got a, psycho a psychologist on the line. Nice. Actually, I'll one-up you. My grandfather was the president <laughs> of the United of Europe, right? <laughs> this is inappropriate language. Okay, nobody cares about inappropriate language. What oh, wait. Is this what you said, the N-word? Wait. Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> oh, that's a little bit beyond inappropriate. What the fuck? She said, the end of, she said the end of it a couple times, but people keep forgetting. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Guys, check out the vlog channel. I'm posting vlogs again. I'm going to be posting vlogs weekly, maybe every Sunday. We'll see. So this Sunday, I'm posting a vlog. But the link to my vlog channel is going to be in the description. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll be back very soon with a brand new video. Peace. I don't think I'm the prettiest person in the world. I'm not a simp.